Welcome everyone to episode 4 of our Mario and Luigi Partners in Time Let's Play. My name is Skull and we have just crashed into Baby Bowser's castle. The shrew princess saw from the sky the, the Koopa Cruiser and just yeeted by that I mean she just fired a, a missile in the direction and because Mario and Luigi were saved by the cannon of the Koopa Cruiser they were out of ammo and they had to crash land it makes you think if there was no time travel would the Koopa Cruiser have most likely would have survived yes it would have and what would have happened then though future events will make me really much can pretty much convinced that the only way the Shroobs were ever defeated was due to time travel I truly believe this is going to be a closed loop, but until then, let us journey forward. We are Mario and Luigi, and we have to find everybody else. Got some green shells, that means we are now equipped. And the baby Mario and Luigi do share inventory with their future selves, so well, that's good. Let's go. Alright, we've got the Goomba. And he's dead. <laughs> that did not take long. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. We got another Goomba. Whoops. I did not jump on him. But now there's two Goombas. Let's see what their pattern is. A little run up, is it? So be it. Luigi, get him! Nice. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Two mushrooms. That means we can heal. Very nice. Let's have a look. Okay, this is a Mario. Ooh, we got a one-up. That is good. So, we gotta find everyone else. We're just gonna get some experience. Okay, that's. I think that's enough. We got a mushroom, so that's good. I think that's enough Goombas. Okay, let's have a look. Oop. Got a 20. Let's go. I had to fight him. Oh, but this time we've got a boo. Luigi. I peeks out. Oh, but he did get me. I jumped too soon. Yes, we get to see a whole bunch of different characters here. That's Mario. Gotcha this time. Boom. And good experience. Eight. I mean, that's nothing when when we're in later levels. But for now, that's pretty good experience. Got two mushrooms. That's good. And we've got an X on the floor. If you remember from Superstar Saga, those were specifically where beans were hidden. But Mario and Luigi have amnesia and no longer have their old tricks. They do not have their hammers and they definitely do not have their old tricks. And therefore, they cannot perform the bro dig action that they learned from the French duo from the Bean Bean Kingdom. But that is perfectly fine. We gotta do some platforming. I am just gonna leave that Goomba there. I'm not. I'm pretty confident in my skills, so. And I don't wanna be too overleveled and don't wanna miss too much story. Whoopah. Careful platforming here. It is a Mario game after all. Okay. And I love that we can see the map in the top screen. Now, if I've done the editing correctly, the top screen will appear a lot smaller. Because right now I've got it as you originally saw it in the first screen. And I'm going to have those when there's like critical scenes that have both screens utilized in a way. I will switch, switch it to that. But otherwise, it should be the main screen will be the bottom screen. That was Mario. Specifically, Baby Mario. Oh, Luigi! You okay, bro? Oh, shit! Ooh, that would have been the end of Mario. I love that. Mario, 
Oh, once again, Luigi. No. Well, that was nice of baby. Mario. I thought that was Mario saying Mario there. Perhaps you should use me as a sort of cush cushionation device. I am, of course, well padded. Baby Luigi would likely feel reassured by the sight of my luxurious leather. <laughs> a little full of yourself, aren't you there, um... Uh, stuff well. We have located and been reunited with the babies. Back to adventure! <laughs> Mario! Allow, allow me a brief apology. I was rushing. I forgot to mention how to move as a group of four. You see, the babies are unable to understand my communicating. What a situation. Hmm. Babies. <laughs> oh, that is genuinely cute. This is so wholesome and cute. Yes, they are not helpless. I suggest the four of you join forces and move on. Nothing beats uh, danger than using your past self baby versions as, as weapons of mass destruction. Oh, wait a moment. Mm. Yes, proceeding as a group of four is rather vital. Look at the upper right hand part of the screen. When the icons l look like this, Mario and Luigi can move. Go on, move about. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. Do -do 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 Where are you going? Yeah, okay, we can move. Guess what? When you want the juveniles <laughs> to move on their own, press X or Y. Go on, little humans, move. When you're ready to proceed, let me know. And as you can see, yep, we get to control four characters, but they're basically two, just with different button presses. In this way, control switches between the adult Mario and Luigi and the baby-sized ones. Yes, but there is even more informationizing, and this is extremely convenient. Mario and Luigi can give the babies piggyback rides and move about together. It is simple to do. When Mario and Luigi get near the babies, the tykes climb up automatically. Try it and see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So, yep. Doo -doo -doo. Piggyback! The babies can also initiate initiate the move by moving close to Mario and Luigi. Now then, let's go find our poor missing companions. Back to adventure! Let's go! Oh yeah! That is correct, we can now jump normally. And if we press the X or Y button, we can do this. Because we cannot jump- oh, okay, we can. But we can certainly do this. The babies are not big enough to get over this ledge, but if we throw them, they can. So once again, we throw them, they l and you can leave to go to a different room. And that's how it goes. So now we have the piggybacks, and this button. Open the door by standing on the four minion switch. Prince Bowser made a mess of the castle, so use caution when opening the door. Also, if there's not four of you, get out! Just jump yourself in the lava because you're not getting in. 
But there is four of us, so we can go in. For, pl for places too high for adults to reach, the prince will use X or Y to jump off a minion. If the prince is successful, the minion will then praise him. Prince Bowser is so rad. <laughs> I can start to see where his ego came from. But yes, these ledges are too big even for the adult Mario. So, there you go. And then we've got this little warp pipe block that summons the other two. How? Why? Don't question it. It's just game mechanic. Koopa training gymnasium for Prince Bowser only. The lower platforms are for our fine evil young prince. The higher platforms are when he becomes king. The holes in the walls are small enough for Prince Baby, Baby Bowser to enter. So yes, Mario and Luigi are too tall, but the babies are just right. Here, Luigi and Mario can come in. Yep. Thank you. Luigi, this is for you. This is ours. And... There we go. But though, I do like that the, the this castle is used for tutorial. You know, get away. So yes, again, we cannot get up here. Pipe. And it's as simple as that. Good use of the uh, DS buttons. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are the perfect partners. Now that they've been found, the adventure really begins. What's that? Where is that time hole? Well, we'll find out. This is an exclamation block. Basically, it's an action block. Lowers the platform so all four can join in. It does a really good job of just basically showing how things are, even for the newer players. Oh, there's Kamek, I think. Prince! Are you dead? Prince Bowser? Aha! You, you little red and green insects. Didn't I try to kidnap you once? Reference to Yoshi's Island, or... Yeah, no, Yoshi's Island. Mario and Luigi 3, I think it's called. Or Mar Super Mario 3, I think was Yoshi's Island. Or was that 2? Regardless, the game's uh, to do... Um, all about Yoshi bringing baby Mario back to baby Luigi and rescuing them and taking them to their parents, which I don't think we know to this day, in, except for the movie that came out. The newest one, not the one from 30 years ago. Didn't I try to kidnap you once? And failed spectacularly by a Yoshi. Well, it was an army of Yoshis. Yeah, I did. Boy, that didn't work out so well. And you don't look quite so little anymore. And you're much hairier, too. Weird, but none of that matters. You look... You like bothering our budding master of evil, don't you? Then I'll bother you up! Here's a Goomba! Let's go! Mario, Luigi, have you ever seen a piggyback move in battle? Another tutorial. Oh, it is fantabulous! Let me show you how this action command works. Now, Mario, you attack with a jump if you follow. So we jump with the boom. First, press the Baby Mario's X button. I've been spending time with Turtle's Roof, so I now have the power of time! X. Then press the A, Mario's A button. Now Luigi, jump on to attack as well. Baby Luigi. It's as simple as that. Hey, hey, hey! More Goombas! Next, bros items. When using these while piggybacked, you can use the baby buttons as well. You can use the A and B buttons as usual, but now you also use the X and Y buttons. Depending on the item, the use of the X and Y buttons may change, if you follow. When piggybacked, the description of the top screen will change, so look closely. When using the green shell, press the baby button when the shell hits the enemy. 
Yes, alrighty. Mario, attack with the green gel. So choose the bros item. So yes, we just learned the bros item. And look, it has changed since we now have two people, or the piggyback system. So you can press the X button whilst you're close proximity to an enemy to do a baby spin. But be careful, because that makes it a lot harder to stay on track of things. X. Press the baby button now. X. B. X. Boom. Ack! Oh, Goombas! <laughs> Luigi, why don't you try the green shell? And it's basically the same from there, so we're just gonna go. Whoops. <laughs> well, that sucked. Yuck! How long do I have to do this? I'm in a hurry. How about you go away then? Now then. That's all. So let's do this. Boom. Sometimes you get a lucky hit. Which is basically a critical damage. But I love this mechanic so much because you can just do an extra extra tidbit of damage to the enemy. It makes fights go a lot quicker with the, with the piggyback system. So Goomba did. Prince Bowser! So yes, Kamek is looking for Prince Bowser. Green shell. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to fight this, boo. Let's go. That is Mario. Boom. And that's also Mario. Alright, so let's get rid of the booze first. I'll get this one out of the way too. Lucky! Boom. When piggybacked, the main uh, stat that's used is the adult versions of the Mario Bros. But when you do the extra jump, like here, I'm gonna click the X, that, that relates to the baby's stats. And this final hit is the adult one. But see what I mean? You can counterattack and you can just whittle them down really quickly. We got a mushroom. And we have reached level four. Okay, let's uh let's get a little bit of our defense up. Not a lot, but it will do. We got Luigi. A little bit of defense up. Nice. Oh boy, is it ra it's raining outside where I am. And raining heavily. Let's go. As long as it doesn't storm, because otherwise I'm going to have to stop recording. Oh, I did not look. Jump. All right. Goodbye, Boo. So as you can see, the baby's uh, damage it stays the same, but the Mario's have gotten stronger. I mean, the adults have gotten stronger. So that's pretty good. All right, now. Okay, that Boo is not gonna let us, so we're gonna have to fight these guys. Oh, good job, Luigi. I thought I missed. Oh, we got a Shy Guy Cannon. I'm gonna try and let them show off their attacks. But yeah, as you can see, the top screen, there's not a lot going along, uh, along, uh, going on, which is why it is, in the editing, when I release these videos, it's gonna be a lot smaller, the top screen. Again, it's only for key, key scenes. And we've got the Boom Guy. Hitting on the head does remove their cannon, unfortunately. So I probably shouldn't have done that. But they get the call for more help sometimes. Sometimes they get it, sometimes they don't. Ooh, we got the babies! I will absolutely boost your attack. Uh, yeah, absolutely boost your attack. Yes, I got three, nice. Okay, and attack as well. Nice. Yeah, we definitely want to boost the babies. The more we can chip away, the faster these fights will go, which means the more story we can get to faster. But we also want to up our defense. 
Okay, so get four minions on the pipe to lid to activate the elevator. Prince Bowser's made a mess of the castle, so use caution when operating the elevators. How has he made a mess? So far, it's just been lava. Not really much of a mess. Okay. Okay, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are the perfect partners. Now that they've been... Oh, no, this is the same thing. Okay, should we continue? No, I think we'll call it a part here. Don't want to spend too long, but uh, I mean, I could, but it might take a while. So I'm going to call it a part here. And in the next part, we'll continue and hopefully get to the end of the uh, Baby Bowser's castle. Yeah, um, was a bit. Yeah, I'm going to cut it here. It was mostly the tutorial stuff for all four of our brothers. <laughs> but uh yeah, we'll just carry on. We've got a bit of money so far. We haven't been able to spend it yet. We will soon. But yeah, that's all from me. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao!